I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlamagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, uh-huh. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. I saw you down in the ATL, Shorty. With the GOAT, Dubeezy Duval. Man, he told me the funniest story about you. I don't even know if we could, if we could say it. I had a story? What was the story? About when it happened, he called you first. And you oh, thought he man. was playing? I did, man. I was crying. He told me about this. So I go down. I go down to Atlanta, right? And I'm like, I, I want got, you to tell this story. Tell it. All right. So I got, I'm like, I got to see Duval. I hit up Duval. I'm like, yo, let's grab some dinner or something like that. Like, can you even leave the house? I don't know how fucked up Duval is, whatever. He's like, yeah, man. So I'm telling him about some restaurant in like Buckhead. He goes, nah, they robbing over there. We can't go to Buckhead. Buckhead's supposed to be the nice part, too. Yeah, they play, they're not playing in Buckhead. They said they said if you got a luxury car in Buckhead, just roll your windows down because the window's getting broken. <laughs> so you might be better, you're better off leaving the windows down. So he's like, fuck it, let's go to Magic City. I'm like, on a Monday, bro? Or like it was a Tuesday or something like that? He's like, yeah, let's do it. So we're in Magic City. And, uh, you know, we're going through what happened to him. This like tragic event where he almost died. He mm-hmm. goes, he goes, yeah, man, you know, it's crazy. The first person I called was Charlotte. FaceTime me. Yeah. He goes, he goes, yeah, man. I got hit by the car. I flew. My shit was all fucked up. And I knew I'm in the Bahamas. Like, I've been to his house in the Bahamas. Like, I don't think I was the first person he called. Maybe like second or third. Nah, bro. The lady came up to him because the lady who hit him came up to him. Yeah. He said, go inside, get my old lady. Yeah. And then he had the phone. He goes, he goes, I called Charlotte. I called Charlotte. I said, I'm sitting there. I go, Charlotte picks up the phone. He goes, what's up? He, I, he <laughs> two balls says that. I go, man, I fucked up, man. I yep. fucked up, man. He goes, I need you to call Ludacris. <laughs> oh, he didn't get to that part. That was the, that was the end part. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what happened at the beginning? He FaceTimed me, yeah, yeah. and he's laid out on yeah. something, Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. He's got the neck brace on yeah. and everything. I fucked up, man. I'm thinking he's on a set. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm it. like, what's up, man? He's like, man, I fucked up, man. I fucked up. I said, what's wrong? You need me to call Trey? <laughs> Trey <laughs> talking about Trey the truth. Because, <laughs> you know, Trey's the go-to guy when somebody needs relief. Yeah. I said, what's up? You need me to call Trey? He's like, nah, man, I fucked up. I fucked up, man. I'm going gonna be, I'm gonna to be performing, living my best life in a wheelchair. And I'm like, man, wiggle your toes, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, it's not dawning on me that something is really wrong with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm playing. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, all we do is joke on each other. Yeah. Show you notice. Know he said, he said, you're like, hold on, my wife's calling. Let me call you back. I <laughs> hung up on I did. him That's a lie. in a time of need. That's bro. not true. That's not he true. He said you that's hung not up true. on him in that's a time not true. of need, bro. Because, you know, after uh, after about three minutes. That's how Charlotte gets off every phone call, by the way. They go, oh, hold on, my wife's calling. Let me get, let me call you back. <laughs> I've been on the phone with him in his house, hearing his wife in the background, and him just go, oh, hold on, my wife calling me. I got to call you right back. <laughs> I, I hear your wife, bro. I was on the phone with Duval for like 10 minutes and it took me about five to realize, hold up, something might yes, really something be wrong. <laughs> because, because I can't see, I hear all these people around him, but it looks like a set. Yeah. And then at some point, he started crying. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, he's really selling this shit, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> he's, an actor. he's really selling this shit. And then I, when he turned the camera, all I see is the blood and shit. I said, I'm like, that's a good ass fucking job they did with the makeup and shit. But it's like the doctors went to turn him over and he just started screaming yeah, like, yeah. ah, ah. And then I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then he goes, hey, man, call Ludacris for me, man. Yeah, he said, tell call Ludacris in the plane. Yeah, yeah. Like, tell Ludacris in the plane. He's like, and then somebody said, you got to hang up. You got to hang up. You got to hang up. And, and I'm still not sure. So I call Clay, right? I'm like, so if this is a joke, he ain't called Clay yet. I'm like, Clay, what's up? And Clay was like, yeah, yeah, he's, you know, he's high off the morphine or whatever. And I'm like, oh, so now it's all making sense. Yeah. But the moral of the story is, y'all are comedians, bro. Yeah, so, so never take us t- seriously. I don't know something's wrong until I know something's wrong. Even in time of need when your friend's head is bleeding. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing personal. They got on me this week because of... You know, the Joe Coy interview, and by they, I mean the internet. Like, I didn't know Joe was Joe was really going through something. <laughs> I didn't know. No, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm thinking they coming up there to perform. All of y'all are always performing, Show. Yeah, yeah. Am I lying? But Joe is crying. 
No, he cried with you. And you sat there with the smirk of all smirks, smiling from ear to ear. I watched the fucking video, yo. I'm like, how the fuck are they getting at me? Did you have some... Did you have the Filipino com- Filipino community in your comments? They were very supportive. They thought it was really? beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> really. Because I wasn't making racist jokes like you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you make a racist joke, right? Yeah, right on time. Chris, <laughs> Chris Moreau walks he in the room. He heard. He heard. <laughs> so, Joe Coy. Yeah, he, he tells the story about, and he's told this in his book. If you ever read his book, but he tells the story about how. This white yeah, guy was making fun. <laughs> we laughed at this. Of his mom. We laughed at this. Because it's Joe. Joe, he grabs his eyes and pulls, pulls his back. eyes yeah. back. Starts making these crazy ass noises yeah, and yeah. shit. So I'm thinking it's a joke because it actually was funny. It and is then funny. when I laugh, he's like, it's not a joke. So why'd you make it a joke? Yeah. He made it a joke. Well, it was a joke from the kid. The kid was making a joke. Yes. And so he was yeah. imitating the kid's joke. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Was that not funny, Schultz? No, that was uh, did did he tell you who that kid ended up becoming? No, who? Me. (laughs) 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 That's why he was crying on flagrant. I was like, man, that that shit still hits, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Listen, listen, man. Funny no, kids funny, do man. the darndest things. Yes, though. they do. They do the yes, darndest they do. things. And I don't even know if that kid was making a joke. He was, wait, he, what, what do you think he was doing? He was doing a bad imitation. Of? An Asian person. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know if he meant it as... I don't know, man. I just... <laughs> the moral of the story is it's hard to take comedians serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? That's really the moral of the story. But are you also seeing how this might be like a you thing? Like when somebody's going through something traumatic, your reaction is just... <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? I was not... I promise you, I'm just a little slow. I'm not thinking Duvall's calling me, telling no, no, me no, that no. he almost the, died the in a goddamn four-wheeler accident. No. And why would I think... If the if the hold first on, two lines on. are, hold on, hold I'm going to be doing best life in a wheelchair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the most traumatic thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> you, you see? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you see <laughs> the fact that you need to protect. No, I do. You tell me, comedians. No, no. You tell All me. All y'all do is get on stage and sell trauma, and it's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, give me yeah. a second. So, so you see if you cannot laugh <laughs> or smile, I will, okay. and I'm going to tell you about the most brutally traumatic thing that's okay. ever happened okay. to me. Okay, and also some of this yeah. is me projecting a little bit too. Sure, because when it's getting uncomfortable, yeah, it's like yo. But Bring this shit back to the last yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm listening. So I'm going to just tell you just, uh, this is something, this is... <laughs> 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 not capable. Not capable <laughs> in not any true. way, shape, That's or form. That's not true. I'm laughing at okay. the setup. I'm okay. not laughing at the All what right. happened. This is this is a this is a fucked up thing okay. that happened in my, in my life. Can you look at me? That is not fair. It's not fair for comedians to be able to do this. Okay. It's not okay. fair, yo. Okay. 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 All right. Ready? All right, I'm ready. You 100 percent ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> you can't cover. What, you man? can't cover your face. See, you this is not. No. Why am I the only one? You can't cover your face. Y'all not, y'all not taking them serious. Oh, I, I, I can. I can be serious. Incapable. Incapable. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? If Taylor was to tell me a traumatic story, I wouldn't laugh. Oh, 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 oh. Taylor. What? Yeah, Taylor. Oh, I have one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, Taylor. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Floor is yours. Go. Okay, okay. Go. No, you got to go to the, the mic. mic. Oh, right now. No, no, no. I don't want to do it right now. Go, go, go. No, it, it, Now's the time to do it, Taylor, if you're going yeah, to do yeah. it. It has to be a traumatic. It has to be traumatic. Like, okay, truly, yeah, right. like, okay. heart, yeah. like, gut-wrenching and fucked up. And, like, one of the worst things. Yeah, but was it one of the worst things that's ever happened? Me? Yeah. Okay, go go go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go 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 go. But you have to tell it seriously. You have to tell it di- This isn't could have died. You're here. Yeah, yeah. Duval yeah. could have died. Yeah, yeah. But he's here. I- yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, go. So I, I think I told this already though. Um, I went to a club mm-hmm. and they were, you know, drinking, smoking. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Why are you laughing already? <laughs> so I show I'm laughing at you. No, I'm not you. laughing at no, her. I'm listening. I'm does. not even li- I'm listening. You do what I do. I'm listening. When I'm about to laugh at something nope. serious, nope. I, what I do nope. is I fix my face nope. like I'm more what interested. What I'm trying to do is be like, like, like no. this. What? I, nope. I, 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 no, nope. oh, what I'm trying to no, what I'm trying to do is no, no. What, what I'm trying to do is be objective because yeah. I know her. Okay, this story is not going to live up to expectations. Okay, we know go. this about Taylor. All right, go, but you got to be serious about it. Really set the table of how traumatic this was. Go look at his face, trying to be interested, like to cover up the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> to make me laugh. Listen, just listen. All right, just so listen. I went to a party, like a. S- <laughs> what is the problem here? I'm <laughs> no, stop it. Go back. Go back. Go Alex back. was there? Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Look, look at him. Look at him. Is this how you act when your daughter's trying to tell you something? <laughs> I'm just listening. All right. So, go. I had a seizure. What? Yes. Yes. Uh, what you mean you had a seizure? I was on a date and I had a seizure. You had a seizure this weekend? Yeah. Oh, hold on. You just, <laughs> man, shut the fuck up, Chelsea. <laughs> Why would you dare laugh at that? Yeah, that's the, this guy yeah, is insane. Yeah, this, Why is this guy a madman, yo? Why would you? This guy is a fucking madman. This guy is a fucking animal, Alex. Why would you? This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy, yo. This guy is crazy, yo. This guy is crazy. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, I was like, is so it not, uh, and this happened this weekend. Yeah, this yeah. happened. This so you guys are on a date, yeah. and then where? Like we're at brunch. We're in Brooklyn. Um, this is like my second, third date with him. Yeah, and. <laughs> Was it while you were ordering? No, I was. Can like, I get some? <laughs> 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 I, so, I don't, that don't count. Yeah. That was a joke. Yeah. That don't count. <laughs> that don't count. <laughs> I'm laughing at an actual joke. <laughs> that yeah. don't count. Uh, I, bet, I bet you the date was telling a joke and she just started no, laughing. He's like, I'm actually, killing it right now. Actually, no, this is what y'all going to laugh at. This is what y'all going to laugh okay, at. Okay, go, go, go. We're so, not laughing because this is traumatic. No, no, no. So <laughs> we were, it was, he took you to brunch. Yes. Okay. And we were going to different spots. So we were drinking. I didn't obviously drink enough water. So I was dehydrated. Mm-hmm. Um, we were up. I was up <laughs> about to dance with him. And he said that I, I remember just kind of. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You about to dance? <laughs> well, he was. Well, we were already. Yo, we were, what we if Let's Get It came up. on? Son, What's that shit? They be all them shaking too. Take this money. <laughs> Take this money. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> But we were already no. up, and it wasn't like. <laughs> Yo. Y'all be recording the wrong shit out there, man. <laughs> Why I did not see this? So what happened? Go right. continue. Oh. This ain't funny. We were, I was giving him, you know what a Wally is? A Wally? A Wally. Like when a guy just stands on the wall and the girl is dancing on him. A Wally. A Wally. I've never heard of that in my life. I thought so he's on like the wall. We call it wall dancing. Oh, like, no, we say Wally. Give me a Wally. Okay. It's a whole dance. All right. Oh, I, there's like I mean, a- not a whole song, my bad. Um, so I wasn't really twerking, twerking on him because I had a dress on. But I was up on him, and then I started phasing out. And he said that I had a seat, like I kind of like you don't. I, I mean, I don't know. I've never known you to have a history of seizures. I don't. I don't. That was the if first time you had that, a seizure. He said that. He said I did. He said I was like shaking, and then I passed out. You didn't go to the hospital. So the ambulance came. I didn't want to go to the hospital because as soon as I woke up. It's all these people in my face and just feeding me water. Once I got water, I was like, all right, I'm fine. Nah, you got to go to the hospital. You got to see what the cause of that is. I mean, they checked me. I was fine. Who checked you? Aren't seizures the neurological? Am- the people from the ambulance. Huh? Aren't they neurological? Yeah, has to be. Yeah, you got to get your brain checked. Make sure it's, it's no short circuits. Really? That's what it means? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He said I was only out for a few minutes. He what? He said I was only out for a few minutes. What song was on? Seriously, I'm not joking. Do you remember what <laughs> it was? Like a, it was a Spanish song. <laughs> so what? No, I'm serious. I'm serious. It was a Spanish song. I really want to know. It was a Spanish song. It wasn't Which one? like no hip-hop. I don't know. I don't know the song. I'm sorry that happened to you, too. Yeah. And how long did... When you passed out, like... What... Yeah. What What was his next move? That he was very catering to, like... Oh, he, like, tried to protect you. Yeah. He didn't think that you he were, like, dropping it low or nothing like that? 
Well, he said he was talking to me. And he said I wasn't responding, and then he like looked at me, and my eyes are like like. You should go to the doctor, tell. Yeah, you should go tell him like you had a seizure. Like so, that's something you should. I feel like it was because I was drinking, though. No, I've I've never had a seizure in my life. Thank God. And yes, and we all drink in this room. That that's something else. Like there's something going on that you probably need to get checked out. Yeah. Nobody knew that. Nobody put a wallet in your mouth or nothing to make sure you don't bite your tongue or anything. Not that I know. Of. You sure you had a seizure, yo? But he, that's what he claimed. Again, I don't know. I don't. I thought I just kind of passed out. I didn't know I was shaking or something. So. Who's AZ? No, you pass I don't. Out? You no. do pass out. Well, damn. I will say, I'm a hundred percent positive now. <laughs> That these I'm a I'm a hundred percent positive that I only laugh at comedians' traumatic stories. Okay, why, 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 why? They're actually funny, but it's yeah. only because y'all are naturally funny. Yeah. So y'all are always in funny mode. Uh, you know what I mean? Even when we're talking about like something incredibly traumatic. Yes. Taylor has taken me through a range of emotions in five minutes. Mm. And I don't want to feel any of these emotions that she's <laughs> taking me through. Like none of them. That was crazy that you did us that little uh flip flop on that one. Yeah, that's wild. I didn't. You really think I need to go see doctors? Yeah. Yes, you need to go see a doctor, yo. I absolutely do. Anytime you shake for no reason, you should see. Word is born. And you just your body shuts off. Anytime your brain just shuts off. I was drinking though. No drinking. I mean, listen, I don't know. I'm not no doctor. And I had an edible, and like smoke. So no. So that's you do that all the time. It's not like I know. Did you, you never did had you sleep before. the night before? I mean, I was <clears> exhausted, <throat> so I think it's like a. Could be a combination. Could be exhaustion. I, I passed out because of exhaustion. It wasn't a seizure, though. I passed out when early, early stages of the Breakfast Club when we used to go out all the time and be out every night drinking, fucking smoking, not getting no sleep. I, I passed out, but I was dehydrated. I literally passed out in the studio. I had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. But you're During the recording, is there a video of that? I don't know. It might be. I don't know if it was I after the show or not. Yeah, we used to do video. We did video since the beginning. But that wasn't our interview. So I, I don't know. I passed out. And guess what Envy and Angela did? What? Laugh they fucking asses <laughs> off. Laugh, they, they'll they tell that story right now and laugh to this day about how I had to get rushed to the fucking emergency room because I was dehydrated. <clears throat> and the, and uh, that's when my wife was living in South Carolina. We weren't married yet. And she flew up here that weekend. And that's when I said to myself, I am bullshitting if I don't marry this woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you think about um Can we pay some bills? Taylor and bought the mood all yeah, the way. Yeah, but I can down. bring goddamn. I can mean, bring I can bring the mood up. You sure? Yeah, 100 percent You positive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tell me something traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about naming your baby after your side chick? Depends on what the name is. Go. If the name's fire. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? Like if the name is actually fire, yeah. why not? You don't think that it might like cause a riff with your wife or nothing? Depends if the wife finds out. You're not giving me the whole details of the story. But having that little secret with the side chick and also like naming your son after a girl whose back you used to destroy. But that's what makes it okay. Wait, why? If you name your daughter that, that's fucked up. You name your son after your side chick. It's like, hmm. And it's a fly name. Something is a fly name, bro. Someone with an end, bro. I don't ever want someone to end. <laughs> what? That's why you put. That's what that means. That's why you put the N in the middle, bro. What you mean? Okay. You know, this guy. What, 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 what do you mean, bro? What do you mean? What do you think? <clears throat> I think he's a fucking idiot for having that shit. I think he's in the idiot. DMs. Yes, that's that. Adam Levine, who's the Maroon 5 yeah. leading singer, yeah. apparently had a little tryst with this um, OnlyFans thought. He didn't sleep with it, though. According to him, he said it was just inappropriate messages through the DM. No, 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 no. She was definitely a crash test dummy. Oh, he sure. hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he said he wasn't. It was just. Allegedly, we don't know that. Well, we got we got on good authority. Who's the authority? <laughs> we, You know, her roommate. Oh, you know the roommate? I don't know her, but oh. word, word got around. Okay. Um, yeah, you man, you can't. Nah, be... I'll joke aside, he wild. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, kinda, that's crazy. Yo, you can't name your child after the side. Yo. You. you know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and Sumner's a cool name, but it ain't worth that. Like, I don't have to name my child that. Yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a weird, weird tribute. 
Let me see. Damn, laughing my ass off. I must be doing something right. Absolutely. Got me. Funny. I'm so weird, too, and only listen to metal. LOL. Said no hot chicks ever other than you. Okay. Like yeah. metal music. I just can't believe this guy, man. I, all jokes aside, I don't know why any married man would cheat in 2022. Like, either tell your wife the truth and tell her well, that, what? We don't know that he doesn't have an agreement with his wife. That was my issue with it initially. Is like he could have an agreement with his wife that he's allowed to get some strange. But I thought he apologized. He apologized for embarrassing her. Nobody ever comes out and says, "Yeah, my wife lets me fuck whoever." Yeah, you basically do it Hold on, on go the back low. To that, Taylor, because th there's a line that I read. I did read this line earlier that I didn't like. More women have come forward accusing Maroon Five from oh, and of them. sending flirty messages, you. including screenshots they claim proved the singer was behind the conversations. Thirsty like, ass, come on, clout chasing yo. ass, and, and and I don't like how they word it. Like they make it sound like some Me Too shit. Like yeah, more like women came for it. Like God forbid, the lead singer of a major band said something cute to you in a DM. Yeah, and, and the crazy part is, I don't even know what flirting is in 2022. I think if you're a married man, you probably shouldn't send any DM. Nah, whatsoever. he was wilding. He was wild. There's no question. But I don't know that he's not allowed to do whatever he wants That's with true. his wife. So, That's true. So if he's That's like, true. I didn't have an affair, it's like, well, yeah, an affair is something behind your wife's back. If That's she's true. cool with it. That's true. It is what it is. That's true. Where he violated is potentially naming the newborn that's after wild. Shorty. That's crazy. That's why. <laughs> I don't lie. know one dude that's, that's not like, That's why. That's why. That's why. I'm bullshit. I'm fucking around. But, but that's, no, that's why. That's crazy. That's, that's nuts. Like, that's doing way too much. Like, it's like you're trying to get caught. Because, man, imagine if that name would have stuck. And then five, oh, six years from now, she finds out. That you used to be fucking around or flirting with some chick named Sumner. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. That's why I don't think he was sleeping with her. That that was my initial thing. I yeah, was I like, don't think he was sleeping with her, bro. You know, you're not going to take that name and name your child that if he was actually now what having if, sex with. What girl. if we have on decent authority that it was going down? Did she say it was going down? Didn't she? Let me hear what she said, Taylor. She didn't want to say it was. Yo, let me ask you this: Why is there no consequences for women that go after married men or that have sex with married men? It's like. Do you want to do you want to tell us that over here? Nah, the the dudes get shamed. The dudes get fucked as they should. They fucked up. Yeah. But there's nothing for women who do it, and it is a foul thing for women to engage in. Like two got to play this game. But you know why though? Why? Because it's a double standard, and it's the power dynamic. And the power dynamic will always be man is the power, the woman is is not. Well, and so whatever the woman did, it's because the man. Forced, not forced her to, but engaged in it and so, so, pushed up on her. And, so here's my thing, which what I don't like in the sex, in sex, women have the power. Like we can't have sex with them without them allowing us. Right. True indeed. We literally cannot. So there is one person who has all the power here, which is the woman. So if That's the right. person with all the power chooses to engage in a sexual relationship yeah. with somebody, she's the one. That's making the final choice. Yeah. That, and that's what it is. It's really the power of choice. Like, salute to, uh, salute to my, my, my homegirl, Ashley, uh, AJ, AJ Holiday from the, uh, We Talk Back podcast. She always says, I beat side chicks up. Cause if the side chicks wouldn't make the choice to cheat, then it wouldn't go down. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know, I, I'm, 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 pro I'm probably fa paraphrasing here and she can word it better than me, but she says that as women, they should stick together. And soon as a man says, I'm married, you should know that guy is off limits. Mm hmm. You but know? women don't like to <clears throat> women don't like to hang out together. Like no, I mean I mean that for real. Like I don't think I think when women come together it's like if you see a big group of women together yeah. it's either a tragedy yeah or <laughs> <laughs> If I see like more than six or seven, too much responsibility, bro. Nah, but it's like I mean, you're looking at these group of women, like who gonna have a seizure tonight? It's like I don't feel like being. <laughs> I'm like I don't. Who knows CPR? And it's, you know what I mean? It's too much to fucking think about. No, you know for what real. I mean? Think about it. any in any successful show where it's like a group of women, they're just fighting each other. <laughs> yeah, this is how you guys hang out. You don't want to be with one another. You want to you want to be with a man or you want to be by yourself, but you don't want to be around like guys. We love hanging out with each other. Six dudes will go hang out for no reason. <laughs> six women will never hang out for no reason. You no, know, y'all gotta have a plan. Name a time where six women just go hang out. You and six of your friends hung out That's for right. no reason. And, and it's always one woman in that crowd judging everybody. 
Erica Banks told us that. Erica Banks like, I don't want none of you bum ass broads around me if y'all ain't thick enough. Okay, if yep. y'all ain't got the right attire on. Yep. Out of six of those women, it's absolutely one woman judging every other woman in the crew, telling her closest girl in that crew, why is she here? Exactly. I She's using her friends it. as props to, for the club. That's not real friends. He, he All I'm saying, like, men, we points like... Points are being made. Points yeah. made. Points <laughs> made. I was talking Points to... Points made. I was talking to somebody, right? You know how they have the Ocean's Eleven movie, right? Yep. They only made Ocean's Twelve because all the dudes on Ocean's were like, the director was like, yo, y'all want to just like live in Europe for a few months and then we can film this movie? And they were like, all right, fine, fuck it. I'd love to just be with my boys and live because they're all friends. A lot yeah, of the guys yeah, who do the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. They tried to make Ocean's Eight. These chicks hated <laughs> each other, bro. Everybody with an ego, I'm not leaving my trailer until they leave their trailer. That there was no chemistry, no camaraderie, nothing. And it's just, I don't think it's how women engage, bro. Every Real Housewives show is just like, what happens when you get more than five women together? Fist fight. And, 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 and now, now, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna name tell you, I'm name tell you, it when it doesn't happen. I'm going to tell you what WNBA. Only in the WNBA. That's right. They fight each other all the time. Only in the WNBA. WNBA is where a large group of women can come together for one goal, one common cause, go out there, play. They genuinely like they love each other. Like, look at the Las Vegas Aces when they won the championship this, mm. year, this week. It, they look like they absolutely enjoy each other. Yeah, but yeah. they're playing a sport. It's not hanging out. And I think furthermore that they also enjoy the company of women for other reasons. Like, <laughs> where it's like... So are you saying that you have to be friends with somebody you play with on a team, Alex? Kobe Bryant, God bless the dead, would disagree with you. Michael Jordan would disagree with you. No, I'm saying that they have the game of basketball to distract them from the fighting that would happen if they were hanging out together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not, that was a bar. That, that was fire. That was fire. That was fire. You got to give you them right. something to do. You're right. <laughs> if you it's just keep brunch, busy, bro. drinks will be thrown. It's facts, bro. <laughs> it's facts. I don't that, think it's in their nature. I sense. don't. I don't think it's in your nature. I'm sorry. I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think Schultz is saying. I think women are a lot more tribal than men. I think men don't necessarily have to be tribal. We just need a couple of things that connect us. You know what I mean? And we can, I can sit around, I, I, can, be, I can be on a plane with somebody and have a whole, I'm, I'm, I can have a conversation with anybody, but I can really connect me and another dude just sitting there talking for like an hour and some change, mm. especially if we just get, get on some man shit. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, we can connect and we can blow for hours. That's right. Hey, it, yo. it can be about sports. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, yo. God damn. You know what I mean? Hey, damn. yo. Just yo. came back from Atlanta, too. Son, I, like that, I like that. I like that. I like that. You, you made it progressive. You know what, what I'm saying? I do, baby. You made it progressive because it was getting real cavemanish. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you no, just. But I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's like, because I think if like, for example, I think like I can hang out with my wife for for weeks, That's my best bro. friend. It's the I, best. I get it. Yeah, literally, Absolutely. my best friend. I Absolutely. can hang out. We can do it. It's it's Absolutely. easy, and we can have fun. It's fucking great. There's no question. And she can do that. Could she hang out with her friends for as long as I is? Could she hang out with her friends for as long as she can hang out with me? No way in hell. When, could I hang out with my boys for weeks? Yes, I could. I think. Well, see, I think that's the difference, right? I think that when a woman has a real friend group. She can be with her friend group the way that we are with our boys. I think that we can connect with random people. Like you was in, I bet you saw so many dudes in Magic City last night. No, nah, it was four of us. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we were there. No, early. no random people it was came early. through. Like, no, nah, it was early. So it was you, Clay Duval, me, Clay Duval, and there was two other guys, maybe. But you never met them before. No. But y'all was kicking it. Yeah. Y'all had a great time. Yeah. That's Easy. what you're saying can't happen with women and random women. Yeah, I don't think. Well, the, the real housewives show. Microphone. The real housewives show are all random women. They put these casts together Don't and work. they can't work. Don't work. Exactly. Why are you comparing a TV show com like in real life? I think the difference is he's saying you can kick it with ra random guys can kick it with random guys and have more shared experiences and be around each other longer than he's saying random. You watch the view. You watch the view. I've I know you you've seen about. the view yeah. or the talk or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Okay. Have you watched Inside the NBA? No. No. Well, doesn't matter. The people at home know. I get Who's exactly having what you're more saying, fun? bro. No, you're right. Who's having more no, fun? No, you're right. But you're right. These girls just oh, yeah, arguing right. about shit they don't even yeah, care about. The, yeah, it's These based on conflict. Just yeah. Teasing each yeah. other, making They're fun. They're sitting like, down, though. Like, huh? what are you talking about? They're sitting down having conversation. If you're in a party scene, lately, the parties I've been going to, girls twerking, like, eh, we hype each other up, we friends. Until she started walling your man. Taylor, you just you just kind of like shitting on your own point. Yeah. How? Because 
what Alex was saying about you give them something to do to distract them. <laughs> like, so when y'all in a party dancing and shit, y'all distracted. But you if, you had, to, women if you had to sit down, okay, okay. if you had to you sit give down women and have conversation. Okay, not too Man, long we don't ago. need an activity. No, no, no. Not too long ago again. Yeah. Uh, my friend Brittany, you know how me and her met? I was like looking, I was at a last lap and I was looking down over the balcony and she just came up to me and she says like something funny of a meme and me and her became real good so friends. you a bunch. No, she, didn't. <laughs> she said, no, she oh, you didn't. thought I was feeling you? No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said? But, and then I'm friends with her friend. Like, it's no big, no problem. And we didn't have to be dancing or smoking or something like that. Like, we could have conversations. That's a friend. And yeah, it but it's not, it's not, nah. <laughs> I'm just telling you. And I don't you gave it, a number. Like, you said a group yeah. activity. Hey, I'm, I'm talking, I'm not talking about one-on-one. Like, yeah. I, like, no, I met her, for, like, all of us hung out. It was fine. It was like five of us. Huh? Never mind. You thought I was feeling you? Yeah. <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? You a munch. <laughs> okay? How that song go? <laughs> you thought I was How feeling you? I can't even say it. Yo, if that, if that song shaming people who eat vaginas? Yes, bro. That's why, that's another thing. Women, you don't know what you want. So, okay, so Taylor just said that that song is just saying you, ju you just let a dude eat you out. Right, but a guy who does that, you have a, a derogatory, a derogatory term name. For it? That's fucked up. You a munch? I, I'm why I gotta be a munch. I'm munching. Why am I the munch? Yeah. Why can't you just be Charlemagne? Why Word can't you be Leonard? Word up. Why am why I the munch? munch? Why you reduce me to an action that you claim yeah. to enjoy? He's a that's eater. like suck my dick. You you, Yo, you call me a dick sucker. Real talk. You are. That's the that's the female nah, that's equivalent facts. of calling somebody a, a dick, dick sucker. sucker. Yeah, nah, that's facts. Munch. Bro. Dick sucker. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call me a munch. God damn. No. 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 Why? Why? I think we need a boycott munching, bro. <laughs> I really think we need a boycott munching. <laughs> if, if, if it's not being appreciated. No, uh, clearly it's not. It no, it's not. That, it that song does not sound like. Songs? That's right. That song does not sound like silliness? she appreciates the munch. No. Nah. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? You're just a munch. I don't like you. You're just here to eat my pussy. That's crazy, wow. yo. That's fucking wow. crazy, yo. Where's the respect? No. And then you wonder why we naming fucking our kids after our side chicks. <laughs> Word up. Because the Word treatment up. that we get. Word up. Word up. Thank Word up. you, bro. Word up. You going to objectify yeah. me like that and then wonder why? Yeah. Oh, you know I'm feeling you? That chick is a throat. Word Wouldn't that up. be crazy? God damn, yo. yo. I didn't even feel right Whoa, saying that. Man. I didn't even wow. feel right saying that. Wow. Fire wow. Though. Yo, the, we <laughs> wow. need to do the... We the, might have to think about no editing that. We yo, need to do the that no was pigeons, so, bro. That was so offensive. We might have to think about editing that, yo. Bro. You got caught to reduce a girl to a throat? No, nah, that's crazy. Wow. Wow. You thought I was feeling you? You're just a jaw. That bitch is a jaw. <laughs> yeah, whoa, <laughs> bro. God damn, yo. Damn, yo. yo. You thought I was feeling you? You're wow. just a tongue. Yo, isn't that crazy? Okay. No, nah, that's crazy. That's dude. wild, bro. Yo. What about mouth? Yo, you thought, you thought I, was I was feeling you? you? That chick is a mouth. Your chick is a mouth. Yo, that chick is a <laughs> mouth. You thought I was feeling you? You just decide. That chick is a throat. Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy to even say that. You that's what I'm saying. You? Whenever, you whenever you switch roles, uh, you can see how fucked up shit is. You thought I was feeling you? you just that chick throat. is a whole. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Y'all are crazy. Whoa. Y'all are crazy. By the way, no matter, imagine, imagine. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. What? Yo, the gay version? The guys will be wildin'. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? You just a butt. Yo. <laughs> Yo. You thought I was feeling you? That dude is an anus. You just an anus. <laughs> Yo, you thought I was... Yo, come on, dude. You thought I was feeling you? I just gave you monkey pox. You <laughs> <laughs> pay some pills, man. You thought I was feeling you? You just a monkey. Yo, God, God damn, damn, bro. <laughs> what? Nobody want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, yo, no, nobody, nobody want to have that conversation, bro. This, this dude hit me in the DMs. He hit me in the DMs about Black Ariel, uh, Mermaid or whatever. He goes, I'll tell you what movie they not going to switch colors. What? Tarzan. So, <laughs> 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 Yo, it took me 30 seconds to hear what you said. Why would somebody be damning you about black areola? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you talking about Ariel, the little mermaid. Oh, let's pay some bills, man. Let's do it. Blue Chew. 
Yo. Uh, Blue Chew, thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. The temperatures might be dipping outside, but in the bedroom, it's only getting hotter. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew, and we thank Blue Chew, man. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets. And at a fraction of the cost, you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the phone. Pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Whenever, when the last time you had to use the chew, Schultzy? Shit, always, bro. For real? Absolutely. Man. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? It's just the chew. <laughs> so if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. I wonder if that would insult the woman. If she really thought seriously, this guy was feeling her because like he was so erect, so erect, oh, wow. and then she find out he on the chew. Wow! Well, but then Ooh. what would insult her more? What if he just wasn't feeling her at all? True. Does the chew work if you're not feeling it? Feeling it, young lady. No, I think that you gotta feel. You gotta feel it, right? But it definitely will set the tone. Holy shit! Sure. These lyrics are worse than I thought. Yo, man. but before we get into that, you know that this summer is full of official events like weddings, graduations, annual Fourth of July barbecues. But everyone knows the best parts of the summer are the unofficial ones. Even fall, we're stretching out this summer into fall. The summer Coors Light, the Coors, the official beer of everything unofficial, is celebrating these moments that truly make summer. Chill, okay? The weekend is officially Saturday and Sunday. Unofficially, you know it's Friday afternoon as well. Summer is officially the warmest time of the year. Unofficially, you know it can be the chillest, especially when you got that chorus light because it's going to tell you if it's cold when them Rocky Mountains start going blue on that can. The can, the beer, everything about it is made to be chilled and cold, which is the only way that you should be consuming these beverages. Nobody wants a hot beer. And there's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light, okay? The mountains on the bottles, I already told you. And the cans, they even turn blue when your beer is cold, okay? You always know. And when you need to hit reset, just open a Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is cold lager, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. It's a crisp, refreshing and just like the Colorado Rockies, perfect for a moment to unwind. So the summer chill starts with Coors Light. To check out what Coors Light has been going on this summer, visit CoorsLight.com. Coors Light, celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Now let's get back to the show. Let's get these lyrics. Church announcements. You want to do the church announcements? What you got? Um, What do I got, man? Nothing, I don't think. Shit. You're not back in the clubs yet? I'm starting to dabble. Okay, okay. I'm starting to dabble. Okay. I'm starting to, to to pop in and like work on some stuff. But I like to just come in on surprise and work on some stuff. Okay, okay. You know, and get uh, back in. Uh, same things. Um, October 8th, the Mental Wealth Expo at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Please remember, this is a free event. All you got to do is go to mentalwealthexpo.com, the RSVP. We have added uh, a lot of amazing people, man. You know, we have uh, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, Queen Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, you know she runs uh, the Acoma Project and my nonprofit, the Mental Wealth Alliance. We got uh, man, we put we got a great hip hop and mental health panel that we're putting together. Uh, that Rhapsody will be on. Um, Nadra Tawab, Glover, Dr. Spirit. We got Shaka St. Core and my man Wallow from the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. They're gonna be in conversation uh, with each other, talking about the impact of the prison system. Uh, on your mental health, we got my man David McCullough from Inception. We got Debbie Brown. Debbie Brown is going to be there. Dr. Rita Walker, uh, Shanti Dawes, man, and our keynote speakers, Sarah Jake Roberts and Pastor Torre Roberts. We got more people uh, that we're going to be announcing also soon. But October 8th, Marriott Marquis, Times Square from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's my second annual Mental Wealth Expo. It's a free event. All you got to do is go to mentalwealthexpo.com. It is a day of mental health uh, education and healing, you know? So see y'all there October the 8th and uh, make sure you watch Hell of a Week every Thursday night Who you got going on this week? 
Tonight, this week, we have uh, Nick Kroll, uh, Ari Melber, and uh, Miss Pat okay. will be on the panel. And uh, Ray J is our, our special yeah. guest um, this week. I mean, all our guests are special, but Ray J is going to be who I sit down and have a conversation with. So 11.30 p.m., hell of a week. Comedy Central. Thank you to everybody that's been watching, DVR and streaming on Paramount Plus. Make sure to stream all the episodes on Paramount Plus and watch us live on Thursday nights at 11.30 p.m. Last week, we had a great episode. Uh, Angela Rye, my good sister Angela Rye was on the panel with uh, Malcolm Gladwell and Roy Woods Jr. And Fat Joe was, uh, you know, one-on-one and, you know, a lot of different things from that episode you know, went viral. I can't believe that Malcolm Gladwell is riding for the Queen so much. If you want me to diss the Queen, you've come to the wrong place. I'm a Commonwealth. I'm born and bred in a Commonwealth. My mom, my 91-year-old Jamaican mom, was very, very sad when the Queen died. Mm -hmm. Queen represented something to us. You know, she's a she was a woman of a, of extraordinary grace and dignity, and in a world that needs a lot of lot more role models of grace and dignity. And you know, there's. There are some things that our country did that um, are unspeakable, but that doesn't set England aside from different from any other country in the world. I think it was more so. I'm not. I'm not going to disrespect somebody I know my mom loves. Like I know it's somebody that your mom probably loves, and you know how much your mom loves her. So you might not fuck with that. Person. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? That's what. That's what I think it was. He's such. A, yeah, he's such like a nuanced, interesting dude, and like I, listen, listen, his take was trash. Like usually he is. <laughs> he has great takes. Like he's like really thoughtful, and his take was like, ah, oh, she's dignified. No, his take was if you want, if you think I'm going to diss the queen, I'm not dissing the queen. My mother was very distraught about the queen's death. That's how it started. Gosh. Everything else was after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um. You know, I, it was funny because I told Malcolm, I'm like, yo, you said you wasn't going to diss the queen, but you just reduced her to a mascot. <laughs> like, she was like, she's just a ribbon cutter, a glorified yeah. ribbon cutter with no power. You know what I mean? Facts, though. That's true. You know, but um, I, Malcolm, man, Malcolm, I mean, I love reading a lot of Malcolm's books, but he said something on the panel that made a lot of sense to me because we tend to do that because all we know in our lifetime is what we know. Everything else is history that we've read but the things that we experience we think what we experience is the greatest and we think what some some of the bad things we experience are the worst like to some people covid is the worst thing that ever happened in the history of life so when i ask a question like is the upcoming midterms you know the most important election in american history and malcolm's like no <laughs> Like I can name like 10 others. Yeah. And when he names them, he's absolutely right. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, Does he have kids? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But but that right there helps you put things in perspective like, oh shit. Not only have there been times in our society where there was more, there was bigger things at stake. Yeah. We also got through those things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll get through this. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing changes. I don't know about that. You know why you care? Because you have kids. I'm yeah. trying to find the difference why I don't care and you do care. And I, it's not just a white thing. Okay, I, that's where I was going. Well, I, I, it's, <laughs> it is I one, one part of white privilege is, is you you kind of have the ability to like remove yourself from politics. But like then again, like there's a bunch of white people that are really furious with the way that politics are going. So blah, blah, blah. That's true. But I mean, both sides are saying democracy is. Exactly. About to They're die. all fucking crying. Yeah. And then, but what I will, what I did notice about getting money is once you get money, I don't trust anybody who has money and no kids and pretends to care about politics. Mm. I don't trust it. Mm. Because once you get mm. money, you mm. have the ability to kind of like remove yourself from everything. Mm. Like I could give a flying fuck right if you're, now. If, if you're, if you don't have anything, uh, if you don't have any other issues to deal with that aren't, re aren't related to money. Like, like for example, got to say a race thing. If you're a white male, your privilege is different. If you're a black male with money or a Spanish male with money, you can still get profiled. You know what I mean? Chris Rock used to leave Alpine, New Jersey and post online how he was getting pulled over all the goddamn time. That's Chris mm. Rock. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So I don't think, I, I think, I think 100%. I think it's race, still a race. Race absolutely matters. plays a part in every, I was having a conversation with this dude the, uh, about this. Race absolutely plays a part in every single conversation that we and have. gender and gender yeah. 100 percent. and the more wealthy you get the less it plays a part so there's a level of wealth 
where race isn't affecting your day to day as much as it's affecting the poor black person. Yeah, like, like I agree with that, because, but it, it can still affect you, though. I agree with of that. Course yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they do. Again, again, it plays a part in every single decision. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to say it's not there, but the the things that this poor black dude's got to go through every single day, uh, living in a fucking horrible neighborhood, yeah, no yeah, access yeah. to like good food, no access to like mm-hmm. good uh, facilities, you know, education, all these types of things. Those are way more difficult and are going to impact their life way more than the super rich black person that's living in Bel Air, California. And that everybody knows and is part of the neighborhood. And yeah, whatever. And, and, like, and he's probably created a bubble for himself. Yeah, uh-huh. no, I get, I get so, what you're so, so I guess what I'm trying to say is like, once you have children, and I imagine I don't have kids yet, you know, God bless, hopefully I will keep be shooting, able to. Baby. You know, you know. Keep shooting, baby. You know. Uh, but what I imagine is all these issues are very important because you're like, oh, wow, these are all directly going to affect my kid, how my kid is learning, how my kid is treated, how the world sees my kid. And all of a sudden you're locked back in again. Yeah, I'm in this weird stage where I got some money and I don't have kids and I have a wife and it's just like, none of these issues really affect us that much. Yeah. And, and it was so interesting like, about what you're saying. It's like uh, w- when you're black, right? Like when you have conversations with, when I have conversations with rich white people and they'd be like, oh, so America's so fucked up. And you're like, yeah, man, tell me more, man. Why, why is it so fucked up? It's all economy based. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all economy based. They're not thinking about shit like voting rights. Yeah. They're not thinking about shit like police reform. You know what I mean? Like none of that shit is on their radar whatsoever. They're not thinking about you know, equity. For, why would they be thinking about equity? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're yeah. not thinking about stuff like that. Yeah. Those are issues that are, like, significant to a, a, a group of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, and, and most of it is is race-based. So Bro, I was I was with Duval. We were in Atlanta. And he didn't want to eat at this restaurant because he was worried about getting shot. He didn't want to go or robbed. He didn't want to eat too close to where he lived because he didn't want to know, want people to know that he lived there. Yeah. And, like, or the people that do know that he lives in the area, maybe they'll go rob the place because they know he's out to eat type of thing. Like he's constantly That's being right. concerned about That's right. being robbed or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I get why you go to the Bahamas. I call it, I call that, and I wrote about that in my book, Shook, when I call it being black annoyed. Being black, <laughs> black in America, black paranoia. It's yeah. a different set of paranoia. It's a different set of paranoia than, you know, the average person deals with. And then think about it. Y'all went to Magic City. He walks in with you. He could say you a cop. <laughs> he could say you a lawyer. Yeah. And people will believe him. 100%. They're like, let me stay. Like, do in here with them boys tonight, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Him. Like, don't touch it's, him. It's just, that's the game. I, why it's like that, I don't but know. I do understand why he loves going to the Bahamas because he actually gets to check out and not have to worry and man. look behind his back Ugh. constantly. And he actually, Ugh. it's probably why you love Anguilla. Anguilla. It's like you get to release. Instead of you're going to the grocery store and you're like, is this going to be the guy that sees me? That's right. Or is someone at the grocery store right. going to call their friend and say, yo, Charlamagne's here. If you want to hit him up on the way when he leaves. That's like, right. It's this constant That's right. fear, man. That's, like, right. That's right. I mean, look, uh, yeah. yeah. Everything you're saying is 100%, 100% correct. Ah, oh, man. It's- you got to find ways to check out. Yeah. Like, where are the places that you just get to go? I can breathe easy here. Everything's fine. I'm gonna be okay. Man, it's crazy because we, we yeah, but then you, you for me, you got to put the anxiety on top of it because I can be home and start thinking the dumb shit. Mm. Like, who's gonna call the SWAT team on me? You know, they be doing them stupid SWAT yeah, shit. Like, I be yeah. thinking stupid shit like that because I'm literally the person that can go online or watch TV, see some shit, and think this is about to happen. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's just like I, I, I really don't know. Like for me, uh, checking out is as crazy as it sounds. I like when I'm doing the podcast. You know what I mean? Because you're locked in. I, that's right. You have, yeah, yeah. That's you right. don't have time to think about all this other fuck shit. Until it's recorded. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. shit, we got to release yeah, this yeah, to the yeah, fucking yeah, world. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. tired. Ty- Do you know how I, you know how we get in, you know why we get in so much trouble? Why? Having conversations with friends in front of strangers. Yeah. That's all this shit is. Yeah. It's conversations with friends. And then we let strangers in on the conversation. Yeah. So when people get upset because... I'm not taking Joe Coy serious. <laughs> it's like that. That's because I'm having a conversation with a friend yeah. and you strangers are eavesdropping. Y'all don't know how we get down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit, sometimes I don't know how me and my friends get down. Yeah. I think Donnell's a friend. <laughs> Until I don't. Because <laughs> I'm realizing he's really upset. Is he still upset? He's always upset. Hmm. Donnell's like fucking the Incredible Hulk. 
He's always fucking angry. <laughs> That's what gives him his goddamn powers. You know what I mean? Love you, Donnell. No, I don't. <laughs> I do still. Oh, I still love you. Also, make sure I do love Donna. Also, make sure um to check out Summer '85. Uh, Chris Moreau is in here right now. That's uh his Audible original. Yeah, that's out through SBH Productions. Man, it tells the story of uh the bombing of the Move movement in Philadelphia in the summer of '85 and the correlation it has with uh the Live Aid contract. I want to talk to you about something too, Chris, off, off air because I have another idea because I love the, the juxtaposition that you did with that, and I have a. Because I have another theory that I can't prove <laughs> and I have nothing to prove it. But there is a correlation that I think people um aren't seeing. And I would love to bring that uh to the masses. Did you see Woman King? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> really the funniest person in America, Why? bro. Why? For no fucking reason. Why? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I saw it. It's like, I don't believe you. I did see that it. Fucked up. You see what I mean? I don't believe him. I saw it. That's dude. just like when they telling me about some bad shit that happened to them. I don't believe that he... <laughs> you saw the Woman King. Daniel Kalila or whatever his name is. He was right. nowhere near that movie. <laughs> he was nowhere near the Woman King. He produced that movie, bro. He was nowhere he produced near it. Here, the Woman King. Daniel Kalila no, produced man. that movie. No, bro. it's John Boyega. Whatever his name is, yeah. John Boyega, <laughs> the guy from Star Trek. There you go. Star, Star Wars. Wars, yeah, yeah. He was in it. He's in it. He's, yeah. he's I, I love his role in the movie. I don't want to give too much away, but that's the only thing I didn't like. If I had to nitpick at it, because, yeah. by the way, there is absolutely nothing to dislike about The Woman King. Bro, I, bro it was... Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> Why can't I just enjoy a movie, man? <laughs> Me and the boys went to go see it. My man, Yo. Brother, brother Willie Muhammad said the realest shit. Salute to Brother Willie Muhammad. Oh, I love Brother Willie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Willie Muhammad said, well, yeah, yeah. Y'all mad about a movie that has an African, African tribe, tribe that realizes they should not be trading their own people and other Africans in the slave trade, yep. then decide to stop doing so, burn down the slave port, free other Africans, kill slave traders, shows women supporting the black man, and then he put the shrug emoji. Like, I listen. That's I, how I felt. I enjoyed it. A lot neat, yeah, man. And I, um, you know, I see people saying that it's not historically accurate. Wait, why is it not historically accurate? Because it's a movie. <laughs> but that didn't happen. I mean, and yes, it's in certain parts of it did happen. Certain parts were sensationalized. Certain parts were fictionalized. But it's, what movie isn't? What? What movie isn't? Well, I mean, Black Panther was real. Man, shut up. Well. Black Panther is based off the Dora Milaje and Black Panther is based off the Dahomey um, yeah. Amazons from The Woman King. Yeah, I know. Like, Chris, come here. Chris can speak to this. Like, stuff like, um, because people like to use these examples, like Schindler's List. What? Right? Those movies weren't historically accurate. I think they were pretty historically accurate. No, they, I looked it up. No, they weren't. It was a real Oscar Schindler. Yes. Right. But a lot of the things, that, first of all, they would have to be fictionalized because how we weren't there every moment of these people's lives. To know what was going on. But what was the movie where Hitler got shot in the movie theater? Got assassinated in the movie theater? Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. That didn't happen. What? He didn't get assassinated in the movie theater. Just let the mask <laughs> go, Chris. I swear I'm to God. I'm doing it for your sake. I'm coughing today. Oh, are you really? Yeah, yeah. You think you got some shit? There's a cold going on. Yo, around. Joe Biden said it's over. Like week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Biden said it's over, bro. 100%. No, nah, but can we go back to the Dory Milaje or whatever? The, uh, the, Dory Milaje. Yeah. The Woman King. Was uh, was phenomenal. Um, what Assassin's Creed? Yep, Assassin's Creed. That's great, the movie, great right? Great video game. I thought it was a movie. Well, they turned it into a movie as well. Okay, so you think a lot of these movies are historically accurate, Chris? I mean, for the Woman's King, I mean, I would if people are questioning what's historically accurate with it. There's a uh, article that came out in the New Yorker magazine like two months ago mm -hmm. from a descendant of one of the kings of. How do you say it? Domini, which is yes. present day Benin, yep. essentially. And he talks about like realizing that his family played a very direct role in the slave trade. And the way it was portrayed in that article was that they really did use these female warriors, shock troops, essentially. Uh -huh. Like they would go into villages, immediately slaughter women, children to try to set an example, scare the shit out of the village, and then convince the rest of the village to go back to the slave trading port 
um, you know, without putting up a fight. So that's how historically it seems like these women were used. And he actually in the article and that, oh, they was killing people. They yeah, were like, oh, they was killing. They was killing people. So he, he said to his grandfather, who was actually because this the kingdom like kind of fell apart in like the 1870s. So yeah. like the grandfather was still kind of like benefiting off the wealth. And he said, well, you know, like, how do you feel knowing about the fact that like you sent other Africans into slavery to America? And the guy just looked at him and said, all the fingers on the hand ain't the same length. The fuck is that? Mean? I don't know. But like that was his response. <laughs> like, what? I think it means just like everybody doesn't get the same deal. Like, but that's what the movie shows. Okay, I didn't see the movie. Yeah, the movie know. shows the complexities of the slave trade and really how it was all just rooted in capitalism. And they even have this one scene where the king is having a conversation, and um, you know, he's he, his conscience is like, man, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. And so the, the 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 person he was talking to was like, what what, what are you going to be without the money, basically? Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Like you you can be a king, but the reason this a uh, kingdom is the shit basically is because of the money that it's making you know because of the slave trade so they show those complexities throughout the movie he, I thought Hitler committed suicide they think he did oh in the bunker with his mistress Eva Braun so that's my point he didn't get killed in a the movie theater I mean I didn't see that. I, isn't that a Terrence Quarantino movie I don't yeah it's a Tarantino listen I thought I think what's what's interesting about this movie is that it touches on something that you don't really hear about a lot in the history books. Yeah. And that is the African role in the slave trade. Right. Yes. And I'm surprised that it's not getting more criticism for that. Oh, it is. Oh, that is. The, oh, yeah. And but, oh, yeah. but I've always thought this as a as a, 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 a just a white dude, which is like, I don't see it as realistic that these white people just went to the shores and then just started rounding up black people and put them in. There had to be some coordination from both. the people who lived there. Yeah, it was both. It was both. Like, because I think some of the first slaves that came into Virginia, Chris, you correct me if I'm wrong, some of the first slaves that came into Virginia came into Virginia because they were captured because of a war between the Portuguese and I forgot what tribe. Mm. But during that war, they captured some of the slaves and bought them back to Virginia. I, I could totally see that. I'm just saying. So like, it's a combination of both. Some were sold. Yeah. And but these were, yeah. these people are completely cut out of the history book. Like when I learned about the transatlantic slave trade, like mm -hmm. I, I in no way did I hear about any of the kingdoms in Africa that were profiting from it at all. And I'm just curious well, about like that's the white man's fault for well, taking all the credit. <laughs> well, you it's it's actually kind of interesting. It's like you talk about like the whitewashing of history. I would argue that this is like a very um, kind retelling of history to the people that are there now. This shit ain't kind, though. Y'all gotta go see it. Bro. No, no, not the movie. What oh. I'm saying is the fact that they're even acknowledging. Did you see that? In I, I think it's difficult for people, right? Like, you don't exactly. want to admit that. I mean, that's why I would say, like, honestly, if that's something people want to check out, this, the author, I wrote it down, David Wright Falalde is the author. I need, did that. you, I did did you see the, the English woman to talking you. to Don Lemon? Did you see no. that? Oh, I did saw that. That was that ridiculous. That shit was crazy. Though. That was ridiculous. But it's not. It was kind of ridiculous because what Don should have explained to her was every single person was not uh so every single slave that came from Africa wasn't sold. Like that's what she made it seem like. She made it seem like they were just selling slaves. It was like it was a combination. There was some that was sold. It was some that was captured during war. It was some that was taken. Like like well, all of them were captured during war. It's whether they were captured by other black people or white people. Or and, Arabs, which or really Arabs. doesn't yeah. get talked about at all. Keep mm -hmm. it one hundred, one hundred percent. The role that the Arabs played. But I think, I think. So here, yeah, here's the conversation. What the fuck am I trending? A living crisis, a, a austerity, Whoa. budget cuts, and, and so on. <laughs> and then you have those who are asking uh, for reparations for here. colonialism, and they're wondering, you know, a hundred billion dollars, twenty-four billion dollars here and there, five hundred million there. Some people want to be paid back, and uh, and members of the public are wondering why are we suffering when you are. Pause. You know, you have all of this vast wealth. The conversation is the the crown is passing like a billion dollars worth of wealth from the queen to the new king. And there are countries that were colonized by the English Empire that are like, yo, we want our reparations. Like you took so much wealth from us. And so he's posing this question to her. Do you think that the English royal family should pay reparations to these places? And this is what she says. You have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? 
that was in Africa. And when the, across the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely. That's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. Yo, yeah, but what's crazy this, about that? But what, did he, what what did, said? Why did he respond? What did he say? <laughs> Nothing. He, I don't know if he was Not out of time. He just, yeah, he folded. He folded. But what's interesting is that this is, this is fucking, I've never heard this take. I've heard the we're not paying reparations. Right. Okay. This is the first time I've ever heard a uh, African people should pay reparations and two white people. Did you see what she said then? She was African. The African king should pay reparations to the families of the white naval soldiers that went there to stop the slave trade. Yeah, but <laughs> that but, is a hot take. Yeah, way. but it's crazy though, because every African nation she's talking about was colonized by Europe. Yeah. And, and the slave trade is one thing, but what about the removal of the wealth from those African countries 100%, by those Europeans? 100%. That, there needs to be atonement for that. So it doesn't 100%. even make no sense what she's saying. I just think it's crazy. We don't even know the name of one kingdom in Africa that was involved in the slave trade. It's not common knowledge. None of us could say, right? We know every white well, country you, that was involved. But you we know, don't know the one. Yeah. We can't name <laughs> one that was rounding up their own people and selling them. Because well, all the Europeans now. took credit. When you look at the Portuguese... Why do they want credit? The Portuguese were the first people to start feasting off oh, slave that labor. Was, that was Arabs, there. I'm telling you. You think it was Arabs oh, before the Portuguese? Really? Well, because they were already there. I, I did mean, a like... deep dive into slavery the other okay. day because of this <laughs> Wow. That sounds... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. This is... A, I don't want to give away a great movie idea, but like the biggest sla slave rebellion of all time... Uh, including African slaves, took place in Iraq in the 15th century. Really? Which I had no idea. Come on, Chris, break it down now. It's Ottoman Empire? Come on, why it's the brilliant no, idiots. it was, so if, uh, southern Iraq, Basra, I think is the name of the city, and it's all kind of reed and marshy areas, and they were cultivating those areas to try to grow some sort of crop. I don't remember which one. Mm -hmm. And they brought in hundreds of thousands, ultimately, of African slaves, but not from West Africa, which is the Portuguese and the British slave trade, but from East Africa, yeah. Kenya, oh, Somalia, Sudan, Sudan, areas yeah. like that. And these people lived in these, uh, you know, essentially plantations for generations until they kept building up and building up. And then, you know, they were second class citizens. They were treated horribly. They were killed, all sorts of crazy stuff. And then um, eventually somebody organized them. There was a massive war i mean much bigger than anything nat turner did i mean we're talking the slaves had tens of thousands of soldiers on their side they wow. managed to take over a large part of iraq they eventually lost and it, it you know they the leader was killed and all that but it was like one of the biggest uprisings i've ever read but think about. about that the point is everybody colonized africa everybody raped africa or, may, or maybe they, it's, suck, they well, sucked the resources I'll tell you out of africa else i learned that i didn't know you know where there was another major slave trade around the 17th century Crimea. Right. The Where's that at? Uh, like kind of like in between Europe and Asia, like kind of not too far from, you know, Russia took it over. Why do they call them slaves? They Slav. were Slav. Slavic. They were going into means, Russia, yeah. present day Ukraine, the Turks who controlled that area, bringing back tens of thousands of Russians and, and Ukrainians, present day Ukrainians. I never had read about that. I wonder if I wonder if well, a, a real, more real, global... I just want to say one thing real quick mm -hmm. to the idea, like the idea that like the world is plundering Africa. Human history is humans plundering humans. Oh, colonization. And, but Africa yeah, got it the worst, I, I would think. I, I, I don't think, know. Yeah, Africa I, got it the worst. I, I, maybe. India. You think so? I mean, but that's what... Because Africa really had more natural resources woman. than everybody. I, 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 listen, I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, it's not like they're the, these people are conspiring going, all right, it's time to get Africa. It's who's ready to get got. So it's like to a certain extent, but Africa did have the most natural resources. Th there's no, OK, there's no question that people want to take natural resources. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say, like people were not discriminating on colonizing motherfuckers like white people were colonizing white people. Like right now, Russia is invading Ukraine. Like they're not looking at them and going, real oh, way. those guys look just like us. They have the same language, same culture, everything. Yeah. They're like, fuck them. 
They got money. That's mine. By the way, that it's really colonization. <laughs> what Putin is trying to do is yeah. colonization. 100% oh, textbook definition what we did in the Middle East yeah, right yeah, it's like yeah, 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 what yeah. what we've done to one another like what China wants to do to Taiwan L- literally what China wants to do to Taiwan yeah. it's like human beings are fucked up and if you think that that wasn't happening within Africa Africa is the size of I think all the other continents put together or something like that like Africa is massive, massive. Of it was. if you think that that wasn't happening it internally the woman, the woman king shows you that exactly yeah. and africa colonized parts of europe i mean they colonized spain hannibal al, al andalus is the moorish kingdom of spain that reigned for oh yeah the andals yeah years. like they you know it's ha- it goes both ways but i guess what i'm saying is like this is a human thing this is what humans do with one another and it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it okay but it is our history and i think it'd be beneficial for us to study this and see what we are capable of so that we cannot repeat it. Yes, but also the reason that they really, I, my personal take is the reason they don't want to study it is because they know it has to be atonement. And atonement would come through some type of finances. So it doesn't benefit this the system that we're currently in to actually have to atone for right, you the wanna, slave trade. You want to cover it up. You want to ignore course. it. Right. Of course. Absolutely. Of course. I think it's up to the people to not let that happen. I mean, look, Jews are still talking about being slaves in Egypt. As they should. You know, thousand years later. White, yeah, white people love to hold on to our slavery. Yes. If white people were slaves for 36 hours, right. we were going to write a book out of that shit. I mean, Scottish people love That's to talk about. For five minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, we were you know, like, enslaved right. for generations. Would you give it up, though? I mean, number one, that is your history. So you should be able to tell your story. But also, there's always atonement. There's always so, atonement. Let me ask you a question. Would you give reparations to Afghanistan? Like, as an American, would you pay tax dollars to give them money for, like, what we put them through? I don't have nothing to do with it. We do. We do. You've benefited no, I, from I it. I don't have anything no, to do No, but you that. do. you benefited from it directly, just like you could say the white people have benefited directly from white supremacy, even though that I haven't enslaved anybody personally. So what I'm saying is, your blood, mm-hmm. your tax-paying dollars go to that military industrial complex that pays for that oppression of those brown people over there. So I your blood is on that shit too. Are you willing to put your tax dollars up to pay them back? So we do that now. Our tax dollars go to stuff all the time that we don't know what they're going to. No, what I'm saying and they're is supposed to go to people that need it. Are you ready to go? Yo, we fucked up in Afghanistan. We need to pay those people some money. Um, I think the better question is... I'm not. Is, I ain't giving the, them shit. The better question is, would you as a white person be willing to give up some of your tax paying dollars to atone for the original sin of America. If you know in the future, this is what's going to actually probably make America better. Well, those are two different questions. Would I pay money? If somebody was like, seriously, we can fix uh, inequality and we can like make equity possible in this country. Mm -hmm. And all it's going to take is people who have a little bit more to pay back. I would do that shit in a fucking heartbeat. What? 10 times out of 10. Yeah, but I yeah. think the reparations conversation, it when as soon as people hear that word, they're like, in a heartbeat. What? You mean? Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying I would oh. do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> but, but, that, but that that is somebody going 100% this is going to work. I don't yeah. think that people have the confidence that whatever system they even have in place is going to actually fix the inequality that exists in America. But if there oh, was agree. an actual fix, it's like, yo, Jeff Bezos, stop making a fucking spaceship yeah, yeah. and put the money right there. Like, that'd be fire. If it was a dollar amount that could change it all, are you kidding? And billionaires here didn't do it? That's and the, the average wealthy person didn't chip in? But that's what's so nah, wild about foul. America, right? Like, they should have corrected all of this way back well, that was when, 40 acres when it was mule, cheaper. Right? Exactly. That was the You plan, know what I mean? You know? Like, the same atonement they offered the, the indigenous people is they should have off they should, the 40 acres in a mule should have went to it's funny after that they Americans. recognized it even back then right yes. it was like something needs to be done yes it's interesting <laughs> and those are the people that know history better than we do <laughs> yeah like they know exactly what happened they, they, they even admit that like yeah we do got to give them something bro. yeah like the same way they did native americans to a certain extent do you think back then the idea was we got to give them something because it makes it right? Or if we don't do it, there's going to be problems. And this is the way. To- I think a combination of both. I think that's why, like in like England paid for their slave owners. Right. Like anybody who lost slaves when they made slavery illegal, got they paid. got a check from the bank. The oh, bank of Americans it- did, too. No, no. Yeah. Slave owners after uh, was it the Emancipation Proclamation. Slave owners got reparations. Google it. 
Slave owners got reparations. Google it. Slave owners got reparations. I think I forgot how much it was, but slave slave owners got slave owners that lost their in, uh slaves during after the Emancipation Proclamation, they got reparations. Look it up, Chris. I'm looking right now. Did slave owners get reparations in America? Hmm. I've thought about that though. Like how different would things be in America today if freed slaves got forty acres in a mule? Um, it would be a lot more black Wall Streets. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It would be a lot more self sufficient. There'd be less black uh, communities. Uh, economic inequality. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. Without they, a doubt. Government paid owners an average of about three hundred dollars equivalent to eight thousand dollars in two thousand per slave. The American government paid that. Yeah. To whom? To slave owners. It's, no, but it's the District of Columbia Compensated Emancipation Act. But this is only in District of Columbia. Yeah, it's just but that's yeah. that's what they, I mean. That was the majority was that was like the no, no, District, southeast region. No, District of Columbia is just Washington D.C. Just D.C. Uh, I what what I I, could, I thought I thought it was bigger than it that. might have been. What I do know is that England did it. Now I don't think England had many slaves in England. I think that most of their slaves were in the Caribbean, right? Mm -hmm. So. But still, the fact that they gave the slave owners a payment for their slaves probably stopped a revolution from happening in England. Right. Whereas your, your light's still on your phone. Uh, whereas in America, I wonder if that would have happened, if that would have helped not have a revolution and then ease that economic insecurity. Give me your phone, Chris. I got it. <laughs> Maybe I have it. Um, it's still, that's what it's I, still on. Give me your goddamn phone right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, after forty-five, you get a you get an exception on these sort of things. No, I think that's just the name of the bill, Chris. Okay, might be. Yeah, the District of Columbia Compensated Emancipation Act. That's the name of the bill. The federal government compensated the owners of enslaved people for their loss of property. The people who were freed were not compensated nor given again, any assistance for the transition to their You're freedom. not doing this because it's the just thing to do. You're doing this to avoid war. Yeah. That, 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 like, and, sometimes, and sometimes you have to make incredibly difficult decisions to avoid loss of life. Yeah. Or, or if you really, and I, I don't know, if you believe in energy and you believe in karma, you should want to atone for that. You know what I mean? If you think it was wrong and you can look back and say, man, you know, yeah, we treated people like property. It was inhumane, especially. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so interesting to hear all of these Democrats talk about uh, immigrants being treated inhumanely. I don't want to hear no white politician talking about people being used as capital, bro. Right. Like, come on. And in, in, in a country that celebrates right. the founding fathers, like, knock it off. Right. So it's like, if you can see that, atone for it and let's see if we can, you know, make things right and have a better future. I'm willing to help out and I had nothing to do with it. Meaning like my family even wasn't even here for it. No, I get you. So it's like, like we came after yeah. that shit was over. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean that black people weren't going through things, but the original sin of slavery had ended by the time my family came here. Well, to your point about benefiting, right? Without a doubt. You know what I mean? So it's like the same thing. With, who'd you say? Afghanistan? Who'd you say? Afghanistan. Yeah. Yes. If, if so, if we're benefiting off work that they did or whatever it was, mm -hmm. it'd be the same logic. People came to America. But we were here when we invaded and we put politicians in place that decided to invade and we didn't do anything to stop it. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm saying is like, there's probably somebody more responsible than me who's benefited more than me. They're probably legacy families. Right. Who had, like, New Orleans who has... Yeah, but I think the legacy, like that's when I was doing my little research, that's one thing I, I noticed that set apart the African, <clears throat> excuse me, American slave trade from every other one I was reading about is the fact that like, even with the Russians being taken in the Ottoman Empire or Iraq, like after a generation, you had an ability to buy your way out or hustle your way out of that slavery. And it obviously didn't happen for every slave. And you yeah. know, it had to be an exceptional case. And think about how fucked up that is. Think about somebody but like generation after yeah. generation. Like that's where we fuck. I mean, it's all fucked up, but like that but, was what was but not even generationally. There yeah. was people that could afford to pay for themselves to get out of slavery. But your kids, your behind, kid, your wife. your wife, it's horrible. Yeah. Like, that's what happened with Denmark Vesey in Charleston, South Carolina. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah. that's, that's what was so It's horrible. About. I, I, yeah. I don't like that argument because it seems like you're calling all other slavery, like slavery light. 
You're like, oh, they, they ain't really, they weren't right. really slaves. Right. Like right. I've heard people do this. Like, Whose like, fault is that though? No, no, like American slavery was so crazy. I mean, oh, you were a slave in Europe? Oh, that was nothing. Like, but you know oh, why? your mom and dad got taken from you when you were a kid? Oh, but, that's nothing compared to America. But you know why they feel that way? And I'm about yeah. to bring it back around. Because of entertainment. Because yeah. of the movies and the yeah. TV shows. Yeah. If they, That's what they show us. They show us slavery in America and how brutal it was. Yeah. I haven't seen the stories other places. Yeah. I've seen stories about the Holocaust. That's how I can say how brutal the Holocaust was. You know what I mean? I haven't seen the stories about indigenous people and Native Americans. Like, they don't show us that. So, going back with the Woman King, I appreciate the positive propaganda. <laughs> if, it's, if it's not, even if it's not based on a true story, I appreciate seeing a group of people talk about the complicated nature of slavery, actually have a conscience and say, this is not something we want to do anymore. Going to free other slaves and burning down the slave port. Why did I love Django? Because Django wasn't a victim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why do I love the Woman King? Because those women were not victims. Like, there is some white people that get killed in that movie. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was in, like, the last 20 minutes... Third best fight scene I ever seen in a movie ever. Really? Infinity War, Endgame, Woman King, damn it. Wow. <laughs> okay. That final fight scene was amazing. I mean, they show some brutal shit. And I'm like, wow. That was great. That's fire. And guess what? Every now and then, that's what you need. You need to leave a movie feeling empowered because you see your people in a, a victorious position. That usually doesn't happen in those kind of movies. So. So it's nice. I enjoyed it. Thoroughly. So y'all believe in reparations? That's all I want. That's the final question. Of for course. Americans? Of course. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor. TJ Bottle Pockets wants to know, how would y'all lives be different if you swapped heights? Mm. Swapped heights? Yeah. I wouldn't want to be that tall. I feel the same I, about your height. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I would. I wouldn't want to be that tall. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't be 41, 36, 43 if I was. How tall are you? Six two. Yeah, I don't want to be six two, 41, 36, 43. You know what I'm saying? 41, 36, 43 on this five seven frame sits right. Yeah, that's why that little munch over there be jealous as shit. Jealous. You know what I mean? That's why that little motherfucker over there be jealous as shit when nah, I walk yeah. in the room. I would. Erica Banks would have definitely went in the club with me. Oh, one hundred percent. She would went with me too. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. The way that you're built, she would have absolutely been in there. Me? Yeah. Not Taylor. No, not nah. Taylor. Anyway. Having seizures all over the fucking Stop, world. Stop, man. Yeah. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got time for that yeah. shit, yeah. man. Nah, we don't I need that. I got time for that shit. Get her out of here. She's shaking again. Get it her home, For no yo. reason. Put her in an Uber, And yo. she she's from shaking. Philly, so they gonna think she killing it down yeah, south. Nah, hey, yo, nah, she nah. hauling shaking on the floor, son. Yeah, like, she yeah, killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give us I hate one. you. All right, so uh, I am Woods wants to know what they think is the best brilliant idiot moment so far. Wow, none that we can talk about right, <laughs> until we seventy. That's the answer. <laughs> that right there is the answer. None that we can talk about till we seventy something years old. He Next. also wants to know what do they think about the Little Mermaid trailer and how did Charlemagne's daughters react. Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot to show him. I told my, I literally told my daughter. Yo, I'm like, show you ain't shit. <laughs> this guy. Is shit, I think she saw it by now. But when this I told guy when is... I when it came out, I'm like, oh, and because I, I was telling her as I was walking outside, I was working out actually, and I was walking outside to go work out, and I I meant to tell her when I come back, but I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna show her when I when I get back in. I don't. I'm happy like, to me when I see that. It's like yo, it's the Little Mermaid. Like it's not a. I, <laughs> I'm happy that Holly got the role, but I don't look at that as like a black thing. It's just happy. like, yo, it's a dope actress playing the Little Mermaid. Like, you know, I, I be trying to explain to my daughter, my oldest daughter, about how growing up, you know, we did, we, everything was white. Every cartoon, every person you saw in a book, like every, every depiction of anything you saw was white. Pictures of authority, everything. So it's like, it's cool that, you know, that's, that's changed, but, mm. you know, I I like the the Woman King. I appreciate the Woman King right. way more than the Little Mermaid trailer. That's just me personally. Hmm. Okay. Well, to piggyback off of what y'all talking about earlier, uh, Jeronum underscore O O O O O. 
uh, wants to know what historical event would y'all go back in the past to film it in 8K? We're on 8K now? <laughs> That's a good fucking question, Jerome. Oh, 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 oh. 8K. What historical That's event? That fucking JFK assassination, bro. Nah, mm. man. It's light, bro. Really? JFK? 8K? I know what I want to see. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That Ray J tape? Nah, bro. I want to see, <laughs> I, I, I wanna see the crucifixion of Christ. In 8K. Word is born. That shit would wow. change the world. That footage would change the world. Blonde haired, blue eyed, white. He would not be. <laughs> Jesus. See, that's what I'm saying. He and would not be. Summer as hell you know carrying so, that cross. But you know what's so funny? That, that's why it would change the world. Because yeah. only two things are going to happen. What? If Jesus is indeed black, which the Bible describes him as. Yeah. If you're a racist and you're watching that video, you, well, you know what I mean? It's just another lynching of a black person. Or it might be like, damn. The person I've been worshiping all these years is a black man. Yeah. And well, does the Bible say he's black? Is he's bronze? It's the same difference. No, he's Middle Eastern. He looks like I, I think he looked like Yasser Arafat or some shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It don't whoa. matter. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Alex said, Alex said he's Arab. It would not matter to a racist. He's brown. Do you know what I'm saying? A woolly, racist wouldn't give a shit. Woolly hair like a lamb is what they say. Yeah, woolly yeah, hair like curls, a lamb. He's yeah, white. Curl. He's blue eyes. He's white as hell. <laughs> that he's would super do, white. That would literally change the world. How many yeah. people you think would leave Christianity if they found out Jesus was an Arab? Yeah, but how many people would join? That shit would be like Magic City on a Friday. <laughs> What? But is the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the people who would join are is it people that could actually shift things? I think, uh, yeah. I, I mean, because if you've been worshiping a a a, 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 a blue eyed white man all of these years, and you find out this person is brown, you got to rethink some of these policies you've implemented to hold oppressed uh brown people. Oh yeah, because yeah, they had like justifications for slavery all over the Bible. Now, if Jesus is indeed white, mm. nothing changes, people. Now, what if you <laughs> went back changed. and it was white? It was weird, but he was white, blue eyes, like blonde hair, like just like we imagined him. And what what happens then? Depends who who did it to him. Well, we know who did it to him. No, we don't. We know who did it to him. No, we Chris. don't. No, we don't. We know who did it to no, him. Sorry we about don't. that. Yes, we do. We don't. We're not. We don't. We don't know Apologies. for sure. Apologies. Apologies. The Chinese <laughs> did it, yeah. my friends. <laughs> the Chinese did That's it. That's what I mean. Though. They did so it. So what if it's a, what if it is? What if you go back and everything we thought about that situation Completely is not wrong. it? Changes the world. That's the one you want to see in a. What'd you say? AK. 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 I started to say AK. How did they pin him up to the cross? It was throwing stars. There's some people that say it's not. It wasn't a cross. <laughs> There's some people that I say it wasn't out a that cross. That is Japanese. But, was it? Uh, <laughs> This is Jesus we're talking about. Right. Sorry, my bad. You know right. what I mean? Get it right. wait, 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 wait. What if? What if? It's just Jesus. Oh, shit. And he built the cross himself? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean, bro? All I'm simply what saying is, is... There was Mexicans out there, bro? There's a story that they told us. What was Jesus? What was Jesus? For a living. What did he do? A carpenter. That is true. Hey. That is true. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>